former heavyweight UFC champion of the world, two-time heavyweight champion named Cain Velasquez, who is now under indictment in the county of Santa Clara, in the city of San Jose, Mm -hmm. for busting on somebody who was a child molester. Uh, Well, I got to say an alleged child molester, Mm -hmm. because Homeboy hasn't went on trial. Right, right, right. He's out on bail. The the alleged um, child molester is a guy named Harry... Gularte, mm-hmm. 43 years old, and Cain Velasquez was just, you know, he, he saw him and he pressed a line on the dude and shot at him multiple times and now he's facing like multiple charges. Um, what's your whole take on that situation? Man, my whole take is, I, you know, I, I sit here and I say I'm a peaceful man, of course. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not for the violence. You know, I'm for the culture. You know what I mean? I try to, you know, I want to see the violence. You know, at a minimum, you know, that's 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 my main thing that I want to see. I want to be able to be out here, you know, okay, you repping your set and you doing what you're doing without the violence. This is a total opposite of my stance on this one. You know what I mean? I felt him 100% because, man, when it comes to them kids, man, you know, it's a, it's, it's a kid. You know, you're a grown-ass man forcing yourself upon in, in whatever fashion he did allegedly. You know what I mean? I wasn't feeling that. So when he seen him, he, hey, you know, and didn't hesitate to get cracking. I, I, hey man, I was I I wasn't mad at him. Put it like that, you know. Now, how do you feel that this guy, the um, he's charged, he's out on bail, but the case hasn't been proven yet. I mean, there's a chance that he's innocent and they got the wrong guy. Mm-hmm. There's a chance that it's a whole big misunderstanding. Um, I remember here in the '80s, there was a preschool that went on trial here in L.A. called mm-hmm. the McMartin Preschool Case. Mm-hmm. They were accused of molesting multiple kids. You know, I just saw a documentary on it recently. Nobody got molested. Mm -hmm. It was a whole lie. Mm -hmm. But the whole school went on trial during, I think it was like 83, 82 or 83. Mm -hmm. Um, So sometimes there are false allegations. And the DA, I was reading an article where the DA said that Cain Velasquez um, decided to become a vigilante and take the law into his own hand. Um, do you ever have any hesitation on on that type of thing when we don't really know if this dude did what, he, what they're saying he did? No, you do. But at the end of the day, I feel, and it's just my opinion only, that Velasquez had insight on who this guy is and whatever he did for a person that not, you know, Velasquez, from what I know, I don't know him to be a street dude. I mean, he could have came from the hood or something like that, but he's a UFC fighter, two-time champ, you know, so... Uh, um, the guy understands, you know, right and wrong. So for him to just pop like that and take it that far. Now, the whole thing about it is by you being a two-time champion UFC fighter, you got some hands. You can kick some ass. You know what I mean? So you could have caught up this, this dude and just it, kicked his ass, you know, and beat, beat him down. But you decided to get a gun. That leads me to believe he know what the hell he was doing because he put it on the line. You know what I mean? He put it on the line, and uh, I think he, he he knew who he was trying to get. Yeah. Um, but I do understand what you're saying about um, people having, you know, misinformation, or maybe this not really the guy, or maybe it was his cousin, not his brother, or, you know, not him, but, but I think he knew exactly who he was trying to gun down. Man. Now, in this one article that I read, it says that uh, this guy, that's the uh, Eugene, um, Harry Gallarte, mm-hmm. They're charging him with lewd and lascivious acts against a four-year-old. Now, now that's what it says in the article, against a four-year-old. Um, but I'm not sure if that's supposed to be 14, because I know the, the state law says... Yeah, usually they don't... It's 14 and under. Right, it says right, lewd right. and lascivious acts with a 14 or under. But in the article, it says a lewd, a lewd act against a four-year-old child. Um I guess it really doesn't matter, right? If it's four or four, fourteen. No, it doesn't. But it, it could be a typo because they usually, like you say, say fourteen and under. They usually don't specifically say the name of a child. But um, man, that's it's, it's it's bad all the way around. But it's ten times worse if if at four. Now um, let's just let's let's explain what the prosecutors are alleging that um, Cain Velasquez did. They're saying that um, he saw him in his car. Mm-hmm. He followed his car started a high-speed chase with the dude in the car, and then at some point rammed the car and then pulled out the gun, and I think he fired six shots, missing him completely, but hitting a 63-year-old person that was in the car with Harry Gallarte. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess someone that goes that far, like you said, they must have some inside information where they feel confident 
to press a line like this. Right, but just let's look on this side too. The people that was in the car waiting though. Those could have been some 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 carpool buddies riding home from work. Could have been some church people that he was, you know, they was going to, you know, to get some supplies for the church. That's the problem that I have with with that issue. Just based on you shooting in a a, 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 a car with um, occupied vehicle, and um, you don't know who else is in the car with him. So that could may be the difference in him getting a smaller amount of time opposed to a larger amount of time just based on, you know, you shooting at uh, people other than the person that you're trying. Not not that it's, it's right to do either or, but it, it could be even worse that you shooting at uh, victims that has nothing to do with, you know, what you're saying you was doing this for. Now, they say he's looking at 20 years in prison. I don't believe he's, even if he's found guilty of something, there's no way he's getting 20 years. Well, we just go back to last week when we was talking about the three guys that robbed the watch, the 500,000 watch in Beverly Hills, and we was talking about how they got the 12 years. Look at the charges that this guy has. He has 10 counts. <laughs> he has three counts of assault with a deadly weapon. He has three counts of uh, assault with a firearm. What's the difference? You know what I mean? You So you're giving him six counts of the same charge, they basically. Do that. They do that. You know what <laughs> I mean? Then you charge him with four other counts. I mean... And that's how they rack up all that time. Yeah, I think the prosecutor's just overcharging right now. Just to, oh, no, they definitely overcharging. Just he, to make him shake yeah. his boots? No, no doubt, but we were just talking about how they state can sometimes wrap up that charge to make it even worse than what the, what the federal side would do. Yeah, because what, 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 what this guy did is I don't feel as, as worse as what the two dudes did that stole the $500,000 watch and you don't? shot a lady. I think... I think that no, because the the target was a child molester. But he didn't hit the child molester. He didn't he hit, hit an yeah. innocent person. So I, I ain't I, so innocent, but he he hit a person that he wasn't targeted. I give him an A for effort, though. I mean, that he he pressed a very hard line. He just missed the target. Yeah, he did. But I'm saying that's you know, hey man, just <laughs> just now. What if you in a car with somebody you don't know that's a child molester? We don't know everything that our friends do. Yeah, we could easily jump in a car with with somebody, go to the store real fast, and somebody get to shooting at him. Now I'm shot. You know, as from your perspective, you feeling hold up. I'm an innocent bystander. You know, and uh, and that's how the prosecution is going to play it. You shot an innocent man, you know, based on, and you shot a man who wasn't even. Now, Gallardo, I guarantee you, his 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 attorney probably tried to push that case back all the way to this Velasquez gets sentenced. So you can never say if you shot a, a, a convicted. <laughs> you know what I mean? They gonna play some games in that courtroom. Yeah, because now both of these guys got cases. No, nah, no doubt. Uh, the molester dude, Harry G Gallarte, he's. He's out on bail, and his case his case is brand new too. He he bailed out uh, in February. Okay. And now Cain uh, Velasquez, his case is March. So yeah, they're both they're both be going to court. What if they see each other in the courthouse? You know, what, what's the chances of they both got to go to court on the same day? Hey, it could be possible, <laughs> but I guarantee you they may act civil just based on they already up against some serious charges. You know, but it's funny how it ain't funny, but it's sad. I'm gonna say sad. That, you know, we talk about, you know, the victim of um, of a shooting, you know, and we talk about, you know, um, the guy who molested the kid, but we never take into consideration. I ain't going to say we don't take into consideration, but sometimes while talking about stories, we don't take into consideration. Man, how is this kid doing? You know, the mental state that what this kid, the trauma, you know, that this kid had to go through. You know, and being and molested, man. You know that has to be horrible. And like you say, I understand the A for ever, one hundred percent. You know, and uh, but at the same time, man. You know, I hate to hear about kids getting. I, I hate it, man. And this is a kid that he's related to, so right. it even hits harder, a right? A lot of times it is, Alex. You know, them the people that's closest to you. From what I'm hearing about molestation, you know, it's the people that's closest to you. No, I'm saying that Cain Velasquez, the, the kid is related to Cain. This is oh, someone, okay, okay. This I kid is you're a, talking about Gallardo. No, that. this kid is in Cain's family, Cain Velasquez's family. So I guess he felt violated. Yeah, like hell this yeah, is he did. either it's either his his Whoever niece, it is. nephew. Felt, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, probably a niece or nephew because they would have said if it was a son or daughter. Right, right, no doubt. Uh, or a younger cousin. Yeah. Um, but let me read this. The DA uh, has filed multiple charges against Velasquez, including, as you mentioned, attempted murder, assault with a deadly weapon, assault with a firearm, shooting at a motor vehicle, willfully discharging a firearm from a vehicle. And then when asked, they asked the DA, like, why, why are you charging him so much? And the DA, Jeff Rosa, said... 
The sad tragedy is that Mr. Velasquez chose to take the law into his own hands. Thanks for watching this video clip of Streets and Scholars podcast with Alex Alonso and FG. If you want to listen to the entire episode, go to your favorite podcast platform and type in Streets and Scholars. But we're available on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and Spotify. And thanks for listening to another episode of Streets and Scholars.